was initiated this process by hand delivering a letter to the president of the European Council, which began, Dear President Tusk, which really should be the start of a letter you write to a walrus president. <laughs> but sadly, it was a breakup letter to an actual person named Donald Tusk, who seemed understandably devastated. There is no reason to, to pretend that this is a happy day, neither in Brussels nor in London. And what can I uh, add to this? Uh, we, we already miss you. Thank you and goodbye. Oh, come on, Tuski, don't be sad. <laughs> if it helps, you will get over Britain. And if you do ever find yourself missing it, here, here's what works for me. Just stare at this picture of an angry old woman in a racist T-shirt eating beads on toast in the rain, because that is what you are actually leaving behind. <laughs> Although, to be fair, not everybody was gloomy about the news this week. Take Nigel Farage, former UKIP leader and current spokesmodel for Smug Dickhead Moisturiser, <laughs> the moisturiser that gives you that smug dickhead glow. He was absolutely thrilled. Today's the day for me, after 25 years of campaigning, that the impossible dream came true. I'm delighted. Well, that is genuinely horrible, because, and you really should know this, every time one of Nigel Farage's dreams come true, somewhere in the world, an angel gets diarrhoea. 